Today I'm going to share the best and the worst things in my experience with ultra wide monitors having owned and used one pretty much daily for the last six months. I moved from an old Dell 24 inch monitor to this LG 38 inch ultra wide. So I'm going to start off by sharing the best things in my experience about ultra wides and then I'll share some of the downsides that I've found that you should know about before going out and buying your own ultra wide. So first of all, let's talk about the best things when it comes to ultra wide monitors. And for me, the one thing that I think a lot of people don't seem to talk about is just that they feel really good to use. Every day when I have to go to my office and start video editing, I always look forward to it. And part of that is because of this ultra wide monitor. Now, there's a few reasons why I enjoy using the monitor. The first is it's got really nice color. And of course, if you get any decent monitor, it's gonna have a nice color. But if you get a good quality ultra wide monitor, it should have nice color and it should just be fun to look at. Like I enjoy viewing content on my ultra wide just because the color looks good. Now, another common thing with ultra wide monitors is they're often curved. And I've found that having a curved monitor is also part of the enjoyment of using ultra wides. Mine's not hugely curved, but the little bit of curve that it does have means that it just feels a bit more comfortable on your eyes. It feels a bit more like an immersive experience because it's wrapping around you. And lastly, of course, the other reason why it's just fun to use is because of the huge size of it. I've got a 38 inch and I think any smaller than that wouldn't feel as big but because it's 38 inches there's just so much space. You don't feel cramped. I remember on my old 24 inch monitor I would often feel cramped like I'd be maxing out the real estate on that screen to try and fit it in as much as I possibly could. Whereas on this big ultra wide I can have windows that aren't even filling the entire screen and they feel big and it just feels nice. It feels nice to have that breathing room. So the second big pro to having an ultra wide monitor is kind of obvious but it means you can have multiple windows open at once. And I think when I first looked into ultra wides, I thought that this meant I could do more things at once. But in reality, I think it means that you can do one thing at a time better. For example, when I go to upload all of my shorts for the week. It's really handy having one side of my screen dedicated to my browser where I upload the shorts and then the other side of the screen dedicated to my content calendar. So I can quickly glance between when I need to schedule content while I'm uploading. And this means I don't have to switch between windows constantly. And for me, it doesn't mean that I'm uploading videos while I'm watching another video and playing a game. It just means that I'm able to do that one task, uploading videos more efficiently and better because I've got more information in front of me that I need. This might be really good for you, especially if you're doing things like studying or researching or really any task where it's helpful to have different sources of information open at once. So another big pro for me personally is video editing on an ultra wide monitor, especially compared to my older 24 inch Dell or even just my MacBook Pro 16 inch display. Editing on an ultra wide is just so much nicer. I've noticed this is especially useful if you edit in Adobe Premiere. This is because of the modular design with Prem, you can customize your workspace with all sorts of different features and set it up how you like. And this is great on an ultra wide because it means you can have all the tools that you need available easily within reach. You don't have to swap between workspaces or open and close different tabs and windows, but it's not just handy in Premiere. I use Final Cut as my main editor and the same thing really applies. I'm able to have multiple different tools and features open and available at all times. I don't have to click between different tabs and open and close different windows. And also the timeline, having a huge timeline is just really nice. Again, it feels nice, but practically it means you don't have to zoom in and out as much. You don't have to scroll around all the time, which means I find editing a less frantic experience and more of a creative experience. Now, the last pro I wanna talk about isn't actually that specific to ultra wide monitors, but it's pretty common for ultra wide monitors to have this. And this is to have one cable that connects to your computer that charges and does all the data transfer and display through the one cable. Now, like I said, not all ultra ultra wide monitors have this feature. Some do, some don't, as well as some regular monitors do and don't have this feature. But if you can get an ultra wide with a single cable setup, it's just really convenient, especially if you've got a laptop. Because for me, this means I can just set my MacBook Pro down, plug in one cable, and that's it. I don't have to worry about any charging cable, anything else like that for my MacBook Pro. On top of that, it's also common for ultra wise and other monitors to have some sort of USB hub in the back or underneath. We're able to connect accessories and peripherals, which frees up ports on your laptop or computer. And for me on this LG, I connect my Insta360 link, which is my webcam, and then my Shure MV7, which is my mic. So they're always plugged in. And anytime I plug in my laptop, they're available straight away. And this is just really handy because it frees up ports on your computer, which is nice. And you've also got accessories. You don't have to constantly plug in and out, especially for things like webcams. This is really 
really handy. All right, so let's talk a bit about some of the downsides to ultra wide monitors. And the first is kind of obvious, but they're often really expensive, especially compared to regular monitors. It can at times be cheaper to get two separate regular monitors, put them together to get the same amount of screen real estate as one ultra wide. So something worth considering if you are looking at an ultra wide versus a dual monitor setup. For me personally, I just didn't want the two bezels down the middle of my screen. I just wanted that seamless experience. And that is kind of, I think what you're paying for with ultra wide monitors is that seamless experience. That single huge display is really where your money is going when it comes to ultra wides. Plus the other thing we're thinking about with a dual monitor setup is you have more cables to think about. Whereas again, if you can ultra wide with a single cable setup, you just have to plug in one thing and you're good to go. The next downside to ultra wide monitors is that they're really big generally. And that means you have to have a lot of desk space. So for me, I've got kind of an average size desk but I found that I have to push the monitor as far back as it can go. And I've even got it hanging over the back of my desk just a little bit to give me a bit of space and distance from the monitor itself. I think if it was any bigger than this, I'd probably need a bigger desk. At 38 inches, I feel like this is kind of the perfect size for my desk, but I've also worked on smaller desks with this monitor and it was too big. Like I ended up feeling way too close to it and it just wasn't comfortable. So if you've got a small desk, it's definitely something worth considering just because they do take up so much space. And finally, the last big downside to ultra wide monitors that I think a lot of people are actually mistaken about is the fact that I don't think they actually make you more productive. I know ultra wide monitors and productivity are often closely associated, but in my opinion, they actually kind of don't make you productive, at least not in the standard definition of being able to get more done in the same amount of time. And like I kind of mentioned earlier, I think when I first looked into ultra wides, I sort of had it in my head the idea that I'd be able to do multiple tasks at once because I could have multiple windows open but in reality like people can't really properly multitask if you try and multitask according to what i know of science you're going to do all those things poorly whereas if you focus on one thing at a time you can often do that really well and that's the thing that i found about ultra wide monitors is that it doesn't help you do multiple things at once but it helps you to do one thing really well and maybe that means you're more productive but maybe it doesn't maybe it just means you're achieving a better quality output from your work the caveat which i'll end with is just that the fact that it's nice to work on and you can do better quality work does actually make me want to use the monitor more and therefore probably do more work. So in that sense, you could argue <laughs> that ultra wides do make you more productive, but we'll leave it there with that thought. If you do want to see a full review of this LG ultra wide, then check out this video here. But other than that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.